Hello chess lovers, Surin here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant endgame study composed by Alexander Herbstmann and Gia Nadarishvili. This was first introduced in 1968 and the task is to draw with the white pieces. You can post the video and try to find a solution. Meanwhile, let me tell you that it was Mitrofanov's immortal chess study known as Mitrofanov's deflection which motivated the two composers to create this beauty. In 1967, at Rustaveli Terni, where Mitrofanov's study was awarded the first prize, Herbstmann and Nadarishvili were the members of the jury. In case you missed that puzzle, the link I will pin in the comment section. Uh, so, uh, right now, if we take a look at the position, we can see that, despite the fact that black is down in material, black has many dangerous threats. Yeah, black is uh, threatening to announce a checkmate, and also this pawn soon is going to step into the game. Uh, that's why in order to neutralize those threats, white is removing this pawn from d4 and at the same time is creating a luft for his king. Uh, bishop f2 check is losing, but we will come back to the sidelines once I finish going through the main line. Later it will become obvious that having removed this pawn from d4 is going to play a key role. G3 check, black is starting to make use of his pawns, and there comes H2 check, cornering white king and then sacrificing the bishop. King takes G2 is forced, and we have F3 check. All the time black is creating problems for his opponent. If king takes F3, then the pawn will uh, be promoted to a queen with a check, that's why white is playing king H1, but this time the king retreat allows the B pawn to be promoted to a queen, b1 queen, bishop g1, again the only move which is allowing white to save the game, and now of course you can't go for queen takes g1 checkmate because by covering the king, white himself announced the check, 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 now can you understand how important it was to remove the pawn from the fourth rank, and now let me remove the arrows, if you play a move like king h3, then this is simple, with queen h4, white can force some easy stalemate. This is a draw. That's why it's in here where black is using Mitrofanov's deflection and is playing queen b4. Here is Mitrofanov's study where that idea was featured. Uh, once again, the link is in the comment section, you can check that out. And there we have it, in this case we also have a similar sacrifice, a queen sacrifice with which uh, black is luring white queen, is forcing to step on this awkward b4 square from where the queen can no longer announce, for example, a perpetual check, also there won't be a stalemate. After king h3 we don't see a stalemate and now it's white king who is in danger, there is a mating threat. Bishop takes h2, the, again the only move which allows white to save the game, and there comes f2 with another devastating threat. And it's in here that white is saving the game with a queen sacrifice. Again, the only move, yeah, we are just going through a very narrow path. And in here, it's time for a bishop sacrifice. And after king takes g3, we have a stalemate on the board. What a great chess study, right, guys? So many queen sacrifices we saw in this game, and finally, stalemate appeared on the board. Note that in Mitrofanov's study the same idea won't work, because in this case, if you sacrifice your bishop, then already there can be no stalemate. You have a knight, you must move it, and then you will get checkmated. Here's then rook checkmate. Uh, let's go back to our initial position and cover some sidelines as well. Uh, the problem with bishop f2 check is that after g3, white king finds itself uh, in a mating net. If king g1, then b1 queen, and if bishop takes g3, then f takes g3, and then check, bishop takes g2, h1 queen, yeah, and then black is going for a pawn promotion with a check. This is how black can win. Uh, so that's why white is playing bishop takes d4, h2 check, and now of course uh, king h1 is also losing, there will be a checkmate, and then b1 queen, 
that's why at this point we see king g1 h2 check king h1 bishop takes g2 uh, well b1 queen is not good because of this bishop f6 check and then queen d7 white can give a perpetual check that's why black is playing bishop takes g2 and then f3 check and finally yes a queen appears on the board and there comes that brilliant queen sacrifice if here then queen g4 also leads to a stalemate right that's why black is sacrificing the queen and only then is playing king h3 what is interesting at this point g2 check is also allowing black to draw and then f2 check and then g1 and yeah this is a stalemate again but the line starting with f2 is of course more beautiful in this case white is forcing black to sacrifice the queen the bishop and only then a stalemate appears on the board this is it dear chess lovers hope that you enjoyed this beauty will be grateful if you will also share with your friends as well and as usual we'll see you in my next video take care